What's up, y'all? This is Woody. Um, I'm working on the video now. I don't have all the footage, but I have a uh, majority of the footage because uh, some of it got corrupted on my phone. So I'm going to give you what I got, and hopefully it turns out good enough for y'all to enjoy. So talk to y'all later. Just a young gun with a quick fuse. I was uptight, want to let loose. I was dreaming the bigger things want to leave my own This is Woody, and today I'll be going primarily for a sheep's head. So I'm gonna be fishing these uh, logs right here. It's low tide right in here in, on uh, Paris Island. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, got not gonna do too much video, but just show you the catches. So I'm just uh, this is my day off, just taking a day off. So uh, here we are, Paris Island. Here's my rig for today: 30 pound braid, um, little half ounce sinker, swivel. 30 pound braided, I mean, uh, fluorescent, fluorocarbon line, and my number one owner hook right there. And the bait I'll be using for the sheep's head are no other than the famous fiddler crabs. So let's see if we can grab one out of here without getting pinched. All right, there we go. Okay, so we got one here. Let's see if I can set this phone up. I'll show y'all. We got the filler crab. Got the hook. Basically, what I do is I hook them through. I hook them through the uh, here goes the eyes, and through the belly. And just want the tip of the hook to stick out. Just the tip of the hook, like that. That way, they still look a little natural in the water. Like that that's how I hook mine so let's get the fishing all right y'all sheep's head season is officially in for me that's a nice keeper right here yes sir get them eyeballs Woo wonder what he's thinking right now the hook set right there number one on the hook let's see how I hooked them fill a crab on the teeth and that's the sheep's head in the sheep's head's mouth right there. That's why they crush all them oysters and everything. You put your finger in there, your finger's basically crushed. And of course, you're going to get your favorite rat reds that are biting the fill of crab. So, in back in he goes. Now we have a pinfish that bit off the fill of crab that we're going to use for uh, crab bait in the crab trap later on. And here we got another little pesky rat red with a hook. And that is a monster toadfish right there. Yeah, he'll hurt you. Alright, as soon as I threw it in, got a decent sized croaker right here. So I threw it in. Alright, y'all, I got my crab trap, my pinfish that I call it. Already. Alright, just got another nice size croaker. Those are getting big now. Alright, y'all, just put another big boy out of there. Nice and clean. Right down there. Hot tide. Alright, y'all, we four for four now. Four for four. Get them in there. The rest of them. Okay. Oh, yeah. Don't fight. All right, got the first whiten of the day. Fresh whiten. Right, now I got three croakers. That's a nice whiten right there. Nice old whiten. Good old eating right there. Oh yeah, we got another crab to join the party. Five crabs. 
if you ain't catching no fish, at least you're catching crabs. So next time you go out, make sure you bring a crab trap. So while you're waiting on the fish, you're catching crabs. Croker. Alright, croaker a little bit small, but we're gonna use him for crab bait when we if we need to replace that uh pinfish. Alright y'all, so y'all wanna know what I'm using for bait to catch these uh whiting and uh and croaker. I'm using just fresh shrimp from the shrimp boat. Well it's from a uh, double E seafood, like five fifty a pound of these. Get like a decent size to cut up and just don't put the whole thing, just cut up in little pieces. But yeah, this one I'm using right here. Then uh if y'all ever trying to get mud minnows, don't throw away these heads right here. Save them and put them in your minnow trap. And it's guaranteed to catch you a lot of mud minnows if you got a minnow trap. And here's my setup. I got this from Walmart. It's basically uh, this whole leader right here. Except for the sink, minus the sinker. Comes with two hooks for like a dollar and forty something cents. And you just got to put your own weight on there. Pyramid weight. And that's it. I see that crab right there. I'm gonna throw my trap out over here and see if I can get that crab right there. They just go all close to shore. Here's shore, they're right there. I'm gonna join the party. You're free. You're free to go. Into the bucket. Seven. All right, y'all. Got the first spot of the day. Nice size spot right here. Nice size spot. Let's put this on, see if I can get any reds while I'm out there on the first one. And I just pulled this trap up right here. And it felt a whole bunch of movement and it was kind of heavy. I was wondering what it was. And godly, got four crabs in there eating on that one. Tore that pinfish up. I don't even see how they fit in there. They made it. So put these in the bucket. That makes about 11. And you can catch a black drum on a on filler crabs. <laughs> a little black drum. Go ahead and see if I can get a big one. I don't think he's about 14 yet. Let's see if I can get a big one though. I can see it, but it's two crabs, big old crabs mating right there on this log right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, let them be. All right, y'all, I'm about to take a five uh, second walk to the bait shop real quick because I'm running low, a little bit low on fiddlers. So let's go ahead and hit to the bait shop. Oh, here they go, right here. Look at these fiddlers. I just grab them, put them in the bucket. There you go, right there. In the bucket. See, this happens when two people try to go in one hole at the same time. Look at him, he can't even get in there. His buddy's in there. Buddy said, No way. Get some more. I wish I had my net with me. Golly, look at all that. That's the filler crabs. My net is in the car. They're everywhere. Yep. And look at him. I almost made a mistake trying to pick him up. I like the ones with claws because it tracks the sheep's head better. He almost got me. Yep, so we got enough. Just showing y'all really how easy it is to get filler crabs here. Real easy. Any marsh area, any sandy area, we see holes, that's where the filler crabs are going to be. All right, y'all, I'm back at home. This is my final catch right here. Two sheep's head and a bunch of white and croaker and spot right here. That's all I got for today. 
And here go all the crabs we got today. Uh, they're still kicking. I'm gonna have to rinse them off a little bit. So I'm gonna get some of that, uh, I'll put them in there. My homeboy wants some, so I'm gonna get him some tonight. Some of these uh, crabs. And I'm gonna go ahead and like split them in half. Like, I'm gonna eat whatever half, and he's gonna eat the other half. So, it was a good day today. Let's rinse them off, and then we'll put some of them in the pot. Now, they are nice and seasoned, and they are just resting. Having a good old time. They haven't started feeling that heat yet. The heat get on. They start kicking. Looks like he needs some on his back. All right, let me go ahead, close up, let him get some sleep. Ah, oh, yeah. Look about almost done. Right there. Alright y'all, I wasn't going to cook today, but I had some uh, flounder fillets I had in the in the uh, refrigerator that I need to cook. And my son wanted some, uh, he wanted some um, croaker, so I butterflied him some croaker. I, this is what I did, just, you know, cleaned it out, cleaned out the guts and everything, split it through the middle. He you knows I just picked the bones out, so he's good on that. And I just batter him up with some, uh, any kind of... Uh, batter but what I use is let me find out show y'all what, what I use I use this right here for my fish and also I just put some of this uh magic seasoning blends seafood magic and also some beer can seasoning and I also use Everglades but I do not know where it is right now and that's what I use to put on my fish also Everglades, so I'm going to go ahead and put this in the deep fry, and I'll show y'all when it's done. Alright, y'all, here's the final outcome of the fish. I just added some onion rings to it, but it's uh, some fried flounder fillets and uh, my son's croaker right there. Two of them. The other one's at the bottom. But, yep, hope y'all enjoyed the video. It's been a long day. I'm tired. I'm about to eat and go to sleep. Till next time, thanks for watching Woody's Real Time Fishing. Later.